Mitzi, the mass protest here at the People Power Monument against the burial of the late dictator, former President Ferdinand Marcos at the Libingan Mahabayani, is still in full swing. Uh, nearly two weeks after the sudden burial, protesters still strongly believe that Marcos is not a hero but a thief and a human rights violator. Hence, his body should be exhumed from the hero's cemetery. Young people, or the so-called millennials, are on the front line of this protest, led by the coalition against the Marcos burial in LNMB, together with martial law victims and their families. Through their rage-filled chants, some laced with curses, protesters blast the Marcoses and the Duterte administration for allowing the hero's burial. Everyone here is glued to the program, led by several artists like Noel Cabangon and the millennial band Cheats. The former head of the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, Maria Serena Jocno, who resigned from her post yesterday, also spoke during the program. Jocno's father, Jose Jocno, was a nationalist who was detained under martial law. Essentially, protesters say this mass action called Sikla Bayan aims to hold the Duterte administration fully accountable for the secret burial of former President Marcos. Protesters relive the crimes of the Marcoses that the Marcoses have committed during the martial law and the millennials respond with a bit of anger and much energy. They say they know and they will fight for their history, which was once fought for by the real heroes of the country. Nicole de Castro also spoke on behalf of the millennials against dictators, and she says all of them who are here right now refuse to turn a blind eye to reports of human rights violations. Earlier today, former government officials from the Aquino administration attended a protest, among them Laila de Lima and Mar Rojas. Supreme Court petitioners against the Marcus Burial, Congressman Ed Selagman and lawyer Barry Gutierrez were also present. Mitzi, right now there are about 6,000 people here at the People Power Monument according to the Quezon City Police. According to protesters, they don't care what time they finish. They will stay here until they end the program and this will definitely not be the last of their mass actions against the burial of the late dictator, former president, um, Marcos at the Libingan ng mga bayani. Mitzi. It looks like they'll still be going on for quite a while there. Thank you very much. Camila Abadisha reporting to us from the People Power Monument. President